Okay, so how about if si R naman po ay nawawala? Okay, di ba meron tayong permutation of eh, uh, N object taken R? Okay, so halimbawa nawawala naman si R given this following. Okay, so uh, doon sa module natin, uh, syempre may may solution doon. So, ang solution po niya, so, ang gagawin po dito ay uh, change po natin. So, expand po muna natin si uh, permutation of N and then the R. Okay. So, this will be uh, 7 factorial all over 7 minus R factorial. So, this is equal to 840. So, ayan po yung and expand natin and then expand po uli natin si 7 factorial pag expand po natin so that is 7 uh, times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 then times 1 so this is all over 7 minus r factorial again this is equal to 40 and then we have to simplify so ito po ay uh, using the calculator we have 5040 so this is 5040 all over 7 minus r factorial is equal to 840 and then uh, uh, multiply natin siya both side by 7 minus r factorial okay so kung multiply natin to so we have uh, okay, so this is 5040 is equal to uh, 840 times 7 minus R factorial. Okay, so para makuha natin to, we have to divide. Divide na natin to ng 840. So, 840. Okay, so dun tayo sa kabilang side. And then, uh, pag dinivide po natin siya, so, if we divide this, syempre, makakancel na to. So, may iwan si 7 minus R factorial. So, this is equal to 6. Okay? So, dahil may factorial, so, change natin si 6 into factorial form. So, we know that 3 times 2 times 1 is equal to 6. So, pwede natin siyang 3 factorial. Tama? So, again, so we have 7 minus R factorial is equal to 3 factorial. So, pwede na natin cancel in or simplify. So, tanggalin na natin si factorial notation. Okay? So, ang may iwan ay si 7 minus R is equal to 3. And then, we have negative R. So, transpose natin. Lipat lang natin si 7. So, this become negative 7 sa kabilang side. And then, we have negative R is equal to negative 4. Okay? And then, uh, divide natin by negative 1 para maging positive si R natin. So, we have 4. So, R natin is 4. So, kung nahabaan kayo dyan, uh, meron naman po tayong, ano, uh, pwede natin i-shortcut. Okay, so ito po yung shortcut natin. Okay, so ito po yung uh, kanina. So, shortcut natin. So, sana ay meron kayong matutunan din dito. Okay, so we have permutation of 7. This is uh, yung ating N. And then we have, uh, nawawala yung R natin. So, R is uh, hinahanap. And then, n natin is 7. So, ang shortcut po natin. So, uh, start tayo kay 7. So, hahanap tayo ng uh, product na ang lalabas is 840. So, yung 7. So, descending order tayo. So, pababa. Okay? So, try natin. So, 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is only 42. Okay? So, Kung magdadagdag tayo ng 5. So, 7 times 6. So, <coughs> so that is 42 times 5. So, 210. So, kulang pa. So, maglagay pa tayo ng isa. So, kung times 4. So, we have. Uh, so, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4. So, that is 840. So, ayan. Nakuha po natin yung product. So, ang gagawin lang natin, bibilangin lang natin kung ilan yung nagamit po natin. 
na numbers. So, we have, so, 4. So, we have R is equal to 4. So, ayan po. Okay? So, ganun po yung gagawin. Okay? So, sa pang example tayo. So, if we have P, or fermentation of 9, tapos R, so, this is 3,024. Okay? So, ulitin natin. So, N natin is 7. So, start put, ay, 7. So, sorry. This, ang end po natin is 9. So, start tayo kay 9. 9 times 8. So, kung 9 times 8, so, that is only uh, 72. So, kung dadagdag tayo ng times 7, so, that is 504. Okay? And then, kung magdadagdag tayo ng isa pa, so, times 6. So, ayan. So, this is equal to uh, 3,024. So, nakuha po natin yung uh, total ng nasa taas. So, again, bilangin lang po natin. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have, so, R natin is also 4. So, ganun lang po yung uh, shortcut. Okay? So, sana uh, magamit po ninyo. Okay? So, maraming salamat. Then, mag-aral mabuti. So, ayan po. So, paano naman po kapag nawawala si N? Okay? So, ayan. So, example natin, we have fermentation of N. Tapos, ang R natin. So, ang ang R natin ay 2. And then, nawawala si N. Okay? So, yung isosolve natin. So, we have N factorial all over n minus 2 factorial is equal to 90. So, ito po yung sa solution po niya. Okay? So, we have here. So, expand natin si, ano, si n factorial hanggang ma-reach niya si n minus 2. So, we have n times n uh, minus 1 times n minus 2. All over n minus 2. So, this is factorial. Okay? is equal to 90. Okay? So, maka-cancel po natin to. So, may E1 is N, N minus 1. So, this is equal to 90. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ng equation. The equation will be uh, N squared minus N minus 90 is equal to 0. Okay? So, kapag ganyan, uh, pa-factor natin to so ang factor natin will be we have n minus 10 saka uh, n plus n plus 9 para maging 90 okay so this is equal to 0 so ang pwede nating makuha will be this one kasi ito ay positive so ang n natin will be 10 kasi ito ay bakit 90 so 9 lang po okay so ayan kasi magiging negative siya so, we have N as 90. Okay? So, yan po yung uh, solution. Pero, try natin doon sa shortcut. Okay? So, that's Okay. So, kung shortcut method naman, so, pwede rin. Kasi napansin nyo kanina, meron tayong, uh, yung naiwan, N, N times N minus 1. Napansin nyo po yan. So, meron tayong uh, dalawa. Uh, ibig sabihin yung R natin sa so, makisimula tayo rito try run error po tayo ha so ang anihin lang natin ang multiply natin is from 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so ayan po so dyan po tayo mag start so try run error lang naman po so pero ang sabi niya meron tayong clue yung R is 2 so ibig sabihin dalawang number lang po ang multiply natin, kailangan mag-equal siya sa 90. Siyempre, yung dalawang number na yun is uh, nasa dulo na, siyempre. So, ang multiply natin is 9 times 10. Tama po. So, 9 times 10, we have 90. Okay? So, kukunin lang po natin yung pinakamalaking number. So, that is n is a 10. So, ayan. So, nakuha na po kagad natin. Okay? So, Paano naman kung uh, merong gayong ano given? So sa pang given natin. So we have n and then 3. So we have 5 0. Ay, sorry. So this is equal to 5 
0.04 so again uh, pili lang po tayo ng number po ha na lalabas si 504 so try rin na error lang tayo so gamit lang po tayo ng calculator so, so tignan natin uh, so tignan natin kung meron sa 6 6 times 7 times 8 so tignan natin kung 504 na kagad yan kasi kapag dito sa baba pipili tayo ng number ay syempre mababa 1 times 2 times 6 lang po yan tapag dito naman sa uh, kabila so 4 times 5 20 times 6 so 120 so ang kailangan natin ay 5 over so subukan natin si 6 times 7 times 8 tama ba? so ito lang po ay 336 so dagdagan natin so paano kung naging uh, 9 naman siya Okay, so we have 7 times 8 times 9. So ayan, so nakuha na natin kagad. So this is equal to 5 over 4. Okay, so kuhin natin yung pinakamalaking number. So ang n po natin ay 9. So ayan po, so ganun lang po yung gagawin natin. Okay, so sana po may uh, natutunan dito sa ginawa natin in finding the r at saka si n. Okay, so maraming salamat. Mag-aral ng mabuti. Okay?